श्री राजलक्ष्मी प्रकाशन पब्लिश्ड अ टेक्स्ट बुक ऑन फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ अग्रोनॉमी वन ऑथर्स डॉक्टर डी एन जगताप डॉक्टर पी बी पवार डॉक्टर यू वी महाड़कर चैप्टर फिफ्टीन प्रिंसिपल्स एंड मेथड्स ऑफ वीड मैनेजमेंट दैट इज कल्चरल मैकेनिकल केमिकल बायोलॉजिकल वीड कंट्रोल मेथड्स एंड इंटीग्रेटेड वीड मैनेजमेंट मेथड्स ऑफ वीड कंट्रोल द की एलिमेंट इन वीड मैनेजमेंट आर वन प्रिवेंशन टू एराडिकेशन थ्री कंट्रोल की वन प्रिवेंटिव मेथड प्रिवेंटिव मेजर्स प्रिवेंटिंग इंट्रोडक्शन एंड स्प्रेड ऑफ स्पेसिफाइड वीड स्पीशीज इन एरियाज दैट आर नॉट करेंटली इन्फेस्टेड विद दीज प्लांट स्पीशीज इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वीड्स इन क्रॉप फील्ड्स कैन बी प्रिवेंटेड बाय यूजिंग वीड फ्री क्रॉप सीड सर्टिफाई सीड्स यूजिंग वेल डीकम्पोज्ड वीड फ्री मैन्योर एफ वाई एन कॉम्पोस्ट क्लीनिंग मशीनरी इंप्लीमेंट्स बिफोर मूविंग फ्रॉम वीड इन्फेस्टेड एरिया टू क्लीन एरिया इंस्पेक्टिंग नर्सरी स्टॉक ट्रांसप्लांट्स मटेरियल्स रिमूविंग वीड्स नियर इरीगेशन डिचेस फेंस रोज राइट्स ऑफ वे एट्सेट्रा प्रिवेंटिंग रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ वीड्स कटिंग बिफोर ब्लूम एंड सीड्स सेट यूजिंग स्क्रीन्स टू फिल्टर इरीगेशन वॉटर रिस्ट्रिक्ट लाइव स्टॉक मूवमेंट फॉलोइंग द लीगल वीड लॉज एंड क्वारंटाइन मेजर्स वाइल इम्पोर्टिंग क्रॉप्स सीड्स फूड ग्रेन्स सीडलिंग्स एट्सेट्रा की टू एराडिकेशन The complete elimination of all living weed plants, plant parts, and seed from a field achieves in greenhouses, containers, and ornamental plant beds. Strict vigilance and well-planned long-term program have to be designed to eradicate the existing stand of perennial weeds. Eradication means complete elimination of both living weed seeds and the seeds present in the soil. Soil sterilants may be used for complete eradication in non-cropped and bare lands. Eradication of noxious weeds like lantana, eupatorium, parthenium, cascuta, striga, etc. is possible when the infestation is on limited area, but when such weeds invade large areas, it becomes uneconomical for their eradication. Hence, at their early stages and also while spread only in a limited area, those should be eradicated through voluntary squads or herbicidal control means. Key three: weed control. The process of minimizing problem of weed infestation from cropped field for increasing crop production is called as weed control or weed control is the process of limiting infestations. so that crops can be grown profitably or other operations can be carried out efficiently there are four weed control methods that is cultural mechanical chemical and biological method number 1 cultural method use of cultural method alone is not effective for control of weeds however this method is useful for minimizing the weed population and weed crop competition to some extent the following cultural practices are useful for minimizing weed population summer tillage or summer fallow deep plowing after harvest of the rabi crop and exposing underground part of weeds to strong sunlight during summer months is helpful for destroying many annual and perennial weeds varieties or crop cultivars different genotypes may turn into a higher or lower competitive ability against weeds these ability developed due to faster seedling emergence quick canopy establishment and higher growth rates in early stages crop rotations many weed problems exist with us because of practicing monocultures that is growing of same crop year after year in the same field monoculture leads to increase the infestation of certain crop associated weeds example rice echinocloa spp wheat phalaris minor and canopodium album sorghum madge pearl millet and sugarcane striga spp tobacco orobench spp the proper crop rotations or inclusion of pulse crops in rotation is helpful for control of crop associated and parasitic weeds example striga on jowar or orbanche on tobacco can be controlled by proper crop rotations or including crops like groundnut 
soybean, cotton etc. in the cropping system. Intercropping, many a time intercropping with crops like soya bean, cowpea, red gram, green gram, groundnut etc. helps in suppression of secondary growth of weeds example. Intercropping of soybean or cowpea in sorghum or pearl millet is helpful to suppress secondary growth of weeds as the interrow space is covered by intercrop at latter stage of crop growth. In this method at initial stage of crop growth, it is necessary to control the weeds by mechanical or chemical methods. Smothering, a quick growing dense crop can successfully compete with weeds. Fast growing and fast shading crop is called smother crop example. Sweet potato, usern, sawbean, cowpea, groundnut, sandhemp etc. are good smother crops. These crops cover the field within short period due to higher plant density, fast growth and canopy coverage and suppress weeds by fast shading effect and also make the underground parts of weed feeble. The smother crops are sown at close spacing with high plant population to suppress weeds. Solarization, method of heating the surface by using plastic sheets on moist soil to trap the soil radiation. In this method the soil temperature is further increased by 5 to 10 degrees Celsius by covering a pre-soaking fallow field with transparent plastic sheet. In some regions the technique raised the soil temperature to as high as 56 degrees Celsius which was sufficient to kill vegetative propagules. This technique followed for 4 weeks or longer period which reduced weed seed viability by 80% or more. Israel has so far made maximum use of this technique as a part of integrated weed management. However, this is costly technique. The cost of the treatment can be considerably reduced by 50% through its reuse to solarize the other area of the field in the same summer. Use of fertilizers or selective crop stimulation, the band application, near to crop roots of nitrogen for cereals, sugarcane and sugar beet etc. is said to resulted in their vigorous growth that carries them beyond weed competition. Some fertilizers like calcium cyanamide and ammonium sulfate directly destroy the delicate weeds. Water management, proper water management can reduce weeds in both wet and dry seasons. Higher weed infection in high soil moisture than at low moisture level. Many weed cannot germinate under flooded conditions especially in rice crop. Proper crop stand and narrow spacing. Weed crop competition is more in GP and lower plant population. Therefore, practice like use of good quality seed, proper method of sowing, optimum seed rate, spacing, time of sowing, plant protection measures against insect pests and diseases are very important to obtain proper and uniform stand of crop which is capable of offering initial competition to young weeds. Higher plant density and narrow spacing is useful to minimize weed crop competition than the lower plant density and wider spacing. Stale seed bed. Stale seed bed is one where initial 1 to 2 flushes of weeds are destroyed by harrowing before planting or sowing of the crop. This is achieved by soaking a well-prepared field with either irrigation or after receiving rain and allowing the weeds to germinate. These newly emerged weeds are destroyed by harrowing with spike tooth or blade harrow. This should be followed immediately by sowing the crop. Non-selective herbicides like glyphosate or paraquat can be used to destroy weeds instead of harrowing or light tillage. Number 2. Physical Methods of Weed Control Hand Pulling or Hand Weeding Pulling the weeds by hand or hand weeding with the help of weeding hook is the oldest and most effective and practical method for count 5 roll of weeds. Weeds can be easily uprooted after a good soaking irrigation or rain. Weeding should be done before flowering stage of weeds for avoiding seeding and further spread of weeds. This is costly and time consuming method. 
Manual weeding by hand tools or inter-row cultivator is used between 20 to 40 days after sowing. Hand hoeing, hand hoe can be used in all crops sown on line in small scale. One hoeing properly done by cutting below the crown of plant gives the destruction of all growth. Tillage, it is one of the oldest and widely adopted method of destroying weeds of all categories. Deep ploughing, weeds are buried deep in the soil and also exposed to heat of the sun by deep ploughing. Many annual and perennial weeds can be controlled by deep ploughing. Disking, helpful for cutting and burying of wheat. Harrowing, harrowing with blade harrow is very effective for destroying newly germinated weeds before sowing of the crop or after sowing of crops. Secondary tillage, interculturing, interculturing with different types of hoes and mechanical weeders is useful to control weeds in between crops rows. Flooding, it helps in controlling weeds like Kunz Cyperus SPP, Saturum Spontaneum, which grows luxuriantly in heavy ill-drained soils during rainy season. The fields are embanked with tall buns to impound water. The weeds get submerged under water and are smothered. Xerophytic weed like Alhagia SPP, Lucia SPP, Cyrpus SPP can be controlled by flooding. Burning and flaming fire, burning is the cheapest method of elimination mature unwanted vegetable from upcropped area like range lands, field bund, roadsides, ditch banks etc. It is also used to dispose of heaped weeds. This method is adopted to destroy weeds in non-cropped areas like waste lands, roadside, railway lines, buns etc. The flame throwers and stem boxes are used for burning weeds in advanced countries of 1000 degree Celsius temperature. The flame should be so adjusted that it caused wilting but not charring of weeds. Heat kills the living cells by coagulating the protoplasm and inactivating enzymes. The thermal death point, TDP, of most plant cells lies between 45 to 55 degree Celsius, 113 to 131 degree F. Rubbing in konkan areas is widely practiced to kill weed seeds particularly from paddy nursery areas. It is not a good method since the useful vegetating and organic matter is also destroyed along with weeds. Digging, this method is useful for controlling perennial weeds like nutgrass, hariali, etc. Digging is very useful for removing the underground propagating parts of weeds from the deeper layers of soil. Digging, hand collection and destruction of underground parts of weeds is adopted when noxious weeds are observed in patches in the field. It is not economical on large area as it is costly and time-consuming method. Mulching, the principal aim of this method is to cut off light and avoid all top growth of weeds. The organic mulches such as plant residues that is. Stubbles, wheat straw, rice husks and straw, sugarcane, trash etc. are spread in between crop rows at 5 tons hectares and thickness about 10 to 15 centimeters. The inorganic mulches such as black polythene sheet is spread in between crop rows. However, it is expensive and for high value crops only. The black polythene is more effective for controlling weeds. Dredging and chaining these methods are useful for controlling aquatic weeds removing of weeds along with their roots and rhizomes from the water with the help of mechanical force is called dredging. Mowing and sickling, this method used in waste lands, pastures, gardens and roadsides. The implement mower is used for cutting weeds. It does not destroy the weeds completely but prevents seed production by cutting growing parts. Cutting above ground parts of weed with sickle is called sickling and it prevents seed formation. Number 3. Chemical Weed Control Those chemicals are used to kill the weeds. Such chemicals are called herbicides. 
chemical weed control functions on the basis that certain chemicals are capable of killing some plants' weeds without significantly affecting other plants or crops. Chemical weed control has been largely a post-World War II development. Apart from introduction of Dinoseb in 1933, MCPA and 2,4-D in 1945, it is now around 60 years since the first effective organic herbicide was marketed. At global level, the usage of herbicide is higher than any other agrochemical. Chemical weed control has some definite advantages over other methods most effective compared with other methods of weed control, highly suitable for closely spaced crops, suitable for adverse soil and climatic conditions, provides early season or zero-day weed control, controls the weed without any mechanical injury to the associated standing crop, reduces the need for repeated cultural operations during the crop season controls even many perennial weeds which cannot be effectively controlled by other methods. The following herbicide are recommended for different crops as follow. Crops, wheat. Herbicides recommended 2,4-D, metsulfuron, triolate, isoprocheron, clodinafop, phenoxapropiethyl, sulfosulfuron, pendimethylin, trifluralin, mesosulfuron plus iodosulfuron, sulfosulfuron plus metsulfuron. Crops, barley. Herbicides recommended 2,4-D sodium salt, 2,4-D ethyl ester, triolate, isoprocheron. Crops, winter match. Herbicides recommended atrazine. Crops, field pea. Herbicides recommended pendimethylin, linuron, metribuzin. Crops, toria. Herbicides recommended trifluralin. Crops, raya. Herbicides recommended isoprocheron, trifluralin. Crops, Gobi Sarsen and African Sarsen. Herbicides recommended Isoprocheron, Flutch Laurelin, Trifluralin, Atrazine. Crops, Linseed. Herbicides recommended Isoprocheron. Crops, Sunflower and Safflower. Herbicides recommended Pendimethylin. Crops, Rice. Herbicides recommended Butacler, Pritilachler, Anilophos, 2,4-D, Pendimethylin, Cyhalophop and Phenoxaprop. Crops, Madge. Herbicides recommended Atrazine, Alacler. Crops, Bajra. Herbicides recommended Atrazine, Cymazine. Crops, Moong. Herbicides recommended Pendimethylin, Flutch Laurelin, Quizilophop. Crops, Sawbean. Herbicides recommended Pendimethylin, Chlorimuron, Phenoxaprop, Quizilophop, Imizithapir. Crops, Cotton. Herbicides recommended Trifluralin, Pendimethylin, Paraquat, Glyphosate. Crops, Sugarcane. Herbicides recommended Atrazine, Cymazine, Metribuzin, Duro, 2,4-D. Crops, Groundnut. Herbicides recommended Alacler, Flutch Laurelin, Imezethapir. Crops, Menta. Herbicides recommended Duro, Pendimethylin, Isoprocheron. Number 4. Biological Weed Control. Biological method of weed control involves the use of living organisms to control the weeds. These living organisms called biogens could be insects, disease organisms, herbivorous fish, snails, animals, etc. In biological control method, it is not possible to eradicate weeds, but weed population can be reduced. Qualities of bioagent The bioagent must be feed only one host. It should not feed on other useful plants. It must be free of predators or parasites. It must adopt new environment conditions easily. It must be able to kill the weed. It must have sufficient reproductive capacity. Different bio-agent used for weed control. Point 1. Insects. Lantana camera, Ghaneri, controlled by Optotoma scabripennis and Europlata giraldi. Parthenium hysterophorus, Gazar gavat, controlled by Zygogramma bicolorata. Icornia crassips, water hyacinth, controlled by Neocatina brichi and Neocatina icornae. Point 2. Fish. Common carp and Chinese carp control aquatic weeds. Point 3. Snails. Marissa spp and other freshwater snails feed on submerged weeds. Point 4. Mites. 
a spider mite is found to be useful in controlling pickly pear. Point 5. Fungi. Water hyacinth can be controlled by rhizoctinia blight. Point 6. Plants. Cowpea sown in between sorghum rows effectively reduces the growth of weeds. Point 7. Animals. Mimosa pudica controlled by goat and sheep grazing. Bioherbicide. Although herbicides are effective for weed control, there has been increasing concern about their safety for food products, their adverse effect on environment and widespread weed resistance to herbicide. In this contest, biological control as an alternative or supplemental weed management appears to play major role in crop production. A bioherbicide is a plant pathogen used for weed control through application of its inoculum. Some examples of bioherbicides are given as under Bioherbicide number 1, Divine Biogent Phytophthora palmovora Weed controlled, Morania odrata Bioherbicide number 2, Collego Biogent Coletotrichin glosporiodes Weed controlled, Ascinomen virginica Bioherbicide number 3, Biomil Biogent, Coletotrichin glosporiodes sp malve, weed controlled, malava pusilla, bioherbicide number 4, biopolaris, biogent bipolaris sorgicola, weed controlled, sorghum halpins, bioherbicide number 5, biocon, biogent, chondrosterium purpureum, weed controlled, prunus serotina, bioherbicide number 6, amylocera sp, biogent, stem boring moth. Weed controlled, Echinocloa sp. Bioherbicide number 7, Tripos. Biogent, Shrimp. Weed controlled, Echinocloa sp. Bioherbicide number 8, Euromyces. Biogent, Plant pathogen. Weed controlled, Rumex sp. Bioherbicide number 9, Gastrophyza. Biogent, Beetle. Weed controlled, Rumex sp. Bioherbicide number 10, Bactra verutana. Biogent, Shoot boring moth. Weed controlled, Cyperus rotundus, integrated weed management. Combination of all possible methods of weed control for weed management is known as integrated weed management, or it is the suitable combination of preventive measures, mechanical, cultural, biological, and chemical method of weed control for minimizing weed growth and population and maintain them below level of economic injury to the crop with minimum damage to the environment. Or, IWM is the combination of more than one method of weed control for the control or minimizing the weeds. Importance of Integrated Weed Management Weed can be controlled by adopting different methods. However, each weed control method has advantages and disadvantages or limitations. The continuous use of the same method leads to build-up of tolerant weeds. Therefore, the suitable combination of different methods of weed control or integrated weed management system approach should be practiced for minimizing the losses caused by weeds in different crops and also for protection of the environment. Integrated weed management in important crops. Sugarcane Follow the preventive measures for minimizing introduction and further spread of weeds. Destroy the perennial weeds by digging such patches of weeds, collection and destruction of underground part of weeds or by using translocated herbicides like glyphosate at 1 kg active ingredient per hectare. Land preparation at optimum soil moisture level after first deep lying, expose the field to the heat of the sun for two weeks or more period if possible for destroying perennial weeds. Carry out plowing at optimum moisture level for avoiding formation of big clods, proper pulverization of soil and exposing underground parts of weeds to heat of the sun. Collection of weeds and vegetative parts and their destruction is necessary. Maintain optimum plant population by using good quality seed and proper method of planting. Follow the rotation of crops like cotton, sawbean, green gram, cow pea, sanhemp, thaincha, groundnut, etc. Keep the water channels, buns and surrounding area clean or free from weeds for avoiding spread of weeds in field as sugarcane remains in the field for more than one year.
Adopt drip irrigation to minimize weed population. Use well decomposed FYM or compost for minimizing spread of weeds in the field. Band application of fertilizer in optimum quantity and at proper time for stimulating crop growth and suppressing weeds. Adopt intercropping of suitable crop as per planting season. Use of herbicides and mechanical methods. Atrazine or cymazine at 2 to 2.5 kg active ingredient per hectare. As pre-emergence spray about 3 to 4 days after planting in plant cane and after completion of basic requirements of ratoon management about 3 to 4 days after giving irrigation in ratoon crop. If required give one hand weeding after 30 to 40 days after planting depending upon weed intensity. Carry out light earthing up at 2 to 2.5 months and final earthing up at 4 to 4.5 months after planting for suppressing late emerging weeds. Adopt mulching of sugarcane trash in plant cane ratoon to avoid the weed growth and save the cost on use of herbicides. Whenever there is intercropping of sugarcane plus vegetables like cabbage, okra, potato, all seeds or pulse crops use flutch laurelin, basli, at 1 to 1.5 kg. Active ingredient per hectare. As pre-emergence spray. Give one weeding if required after one month and carry out final earthing up after harvest of intercrops. Rice, paddy. Follow the preventive measures for introduction and further spread of weeds. Follow the crop rotation of pulses and all seeds in rabi and summer season under irrigated conditions for control of rice crop associated weeds. Carry out proper puddling operation for destroying weeds in transplanted paddy and proper land preparation, collection and destruction of weeds in direct seeded rice and also destroy newly germinated weeds by harrowing before sowing. Use good quality seed seedling and plant protection measures for maintaining optimum population of the crop. Apply fertilizers by band application at proper time in optimum quantity. Chemical and Mechanical Methods Rice Nursery, Butacler, Machet, at 1 to 1.5 kg active ingredient per hectare about 4 to 7 days before or after sowing. 1. In transplants rice apply butacler at 1 to 2.5 kg active ingredient per hectare or 2. 4 dash the ethyl Easter granules at 0.8 to 1.2 kg active ingredient per hectare. Up to 10 days after transplanting and keep 3 to 7 cm. Standing water till 7 days later. In direct seeded rice apply pre-emergence spray up to 3 to 5 days after sowing. 2. Give one hoeing and weeding after about 25 to 30 days or hand weeding at 21 days and 2. 4 dash D at 0.75 to 1 kg. Active ingredient per hectare. When the rice is in fully tillered stage but before boot stage. The late emerging weeds can be destroyed by hoeing or weeding. Cotton. Follow the preventive measures for minimizing introduction and further spread of weeds. Proper crop rotation with cereals, oil seeds and pulses. Carry out deep plowing and exposing of weeds to the heat of the sun for destroying weeds. Harrowing and collection of weeds and their vegetative parts. In case of rain-fed cotton carry out light harrowing before sowing for destroying newly germinated weeds. Use drip irrigation system for irrigated cotton. Use good quality seed, proper depth of sowing, optimum seed rate, spacing and plant protection measures for maintaining optimum population of the crop. Application of fertilizers at proper time and in optimum does. Intercorping of suitable crop according to rain-fed or irrigated condition for suppressing weeds between crop rows. Chemical and mechanical methods, flutch laurelin, basli, at 0.5 to 1 kg active ingredient per hectare or pendimethylin at 1.2 to 1.5 kg active ingredient per hectare. As pre-plant incorporation, PPI, 
also found effective as compared to pre-emergence treatment as or just prior to first hoeing or interculturing or a lacklar, lasso, at 2 kg active ingredient per hectare as pre-emergence application. Give one weeding and hoeing after 25 to 30 days after sowing depending upon weed intensity and growth. Groundnut and Soybean Follow the preventive measures for minimizing introduction and further spreading of weeds. Proper crop rotation for minimizing population and growth of crop associated weeds. Proper land preparation, deep plowing, harrowing and collection of weeds for destroying weeds. Give light harrowing before sowing for destroying newly germinated weeds. Use good quality seeds and carry out sowing at optimum time. At proper moisture level in the soil by using optimum seed rate, spacing and plant protection measures for maintaining optimum plant population of the crop. Chemical and mechanical methods, Flutch Laurelin, Busley, at 0.5 to 1 kg active ingredient per hectare as pre-plant soil incorporation, PPI. There should be sufficient soil moisture in the soil at the time of application for minimizing loss of flutch laurelin due to volatilization. Or, a lacklar, lasso, at 1.5 to 2 kg active ingredient per hectare as pre-emergence spray immediately after sowing. Or, pendimethylin at 1 kg active ingredient per hectare as pre-emergence spray immediately after sowing. Chemical methods supplemented with one weeding if required and hoeing after about 30 to 40 days after sowing depending upon weed intensity is effective for control of weeds. Citrus Periodical cultivation like mowing, mulching is very effective. Paraquat 1.5 kg per hectare as a post-emergence herbicide. Monuron or Duro at 2 kg per hectare can be applied twice in a year, May and October. EPTC at 1.5 kg per hectare as pre-planting incorporation can control nutsage effectively. Banana Alacler at 2 kg per hectare or Duro at 2 kg per hectare as per emergence is the best to check weeds effectively. Paraquat at 1.5 plus 2 4D at 3 kg per hectare as post-emergence may be spread periodically. Siamazine 3 kg per hectare is also effective to the weed in banana plantation. We politely request, please like, share and subscribe our channel Shri Raj Lakshmi Publication.